And welcome back to Final Fantasy VII Remake for those of you joining us on VOD. For those of you on stream, let's go see if we can't uh, get Cloud to slip into something more comfortable some sometime before the end of the night, shall we? What am I going to eat? I'm going to eat when I'm hungry. I guess they're closed right now. I feel rejuvenated and alive. Beds calling my name. Now that you mention it. So I guess there's only really the honeybee in left, huh? Sure that you're a man of many talents, but talking isn't one of them. Poor Johnny, <laughs> uh, doomed to a life of failure. I mean, shit. <laughs> I mean, shit. <laughs> Welcome to the Honeybee Inn. It's good evening. Hopefully less hey, uh. awful than I fear. <laughs> Welcome to the heart and soul of Wall Market, the Honey Bee Inn. Is there a honey boy or girl whose company you desire? Uh, we're here to see Andrea Rodea. Ah, the shining star of the Honey Bee Inn. I do like that he doesn't assume Cloud wants a wants a girl. Sir, can I have your name? Oh. We don't have an appointment. I see. I'm terribly sorry, sir. An appointment is required. And the earliest available slot is three years from now. Three years? All we want is five minutes. He can spare that. I need his help for the Corneo audition. Yes. Well, regardless of the circumstances, you cannot meet him without an appointment. Is there really no other way? It is rare. But Mr. Rodea does occasionally extend invitations to individuals who catch his eye. Otherwise, I'm sorry, but there really is nothing... Shall we catch his done. eye, then? I guess that's that, then. Oh, well. Let's try someone else. I don't suppose... no? Well... As, as, as far as I understand in the remake, they have, uh, they've changed the Honeybee Inn to more of a burlesque rather than, well, rather than a, a straight up, oh no, shit, don't want to go in there, rather than a straight up, uh, brothel. More, more of a host, more of a host club than it, than, uh, yeah. So in that sense, they've sort of made it more Japanese. Which should hopefully make it less... Yikes. <laughs> Cause, oh boy! <laughs> oh, the fail son. Johnny, you're bad at everything. Johnny's been had. She's a siren, I tell you. When Gil. Oh, Johnny's been had. She's a siren, I tell you. This the must be the place. Yeah. 
That's a Welcome. back of a neck. Welcome. Just the two of you? Step right up. Now then, what Handsome lady? massage do you desire? Say what? Is this your first time in our establishment? Mm -hmm. We are a hand massage parlor. An excess of fatigue and tension can make even the simplest task a terrible strain. Honestly, I could go it for that. It's our pleasure to relieve our patrons of that tension. <laughs> and what better way to seek relief than through the skilled ministrations of a professional? So now that we understand each other, what manner of massage do you desire? We're not customers. Seriously, I just I have can this twinge are. in my forearm. Yeah, really, I could... To an audition with oh, Don for love of Say another word and I'll shove this fan right down your throat. Oh. I like her. Uh. Uh, this is the last thing I need. You're young and stupid, and I suppose that means you think I'll let you off easy. So, you want what? A favor? Well, here's the thing. This is a massage parlor, a respectable establishment. But if you don't require our services... Then tell me! Is there any reason I shouldn't have you dragged outside and shot for wasting my valuable time? Well? Well, first of all, I can take whoever you'd send after me. Hmm. Name? Cloud Strife. I like her. Huh? Give it to me! Oh. That's a character! The strong, firm hands of a fighter, yet they possess a certain elegance and grace. Okay, Cloud. Let's see what you're made of. After that, we'll talk. So, which course will it be? I uh, by just, uh... Standard? <laughs> then make your way to the room in the back. And wait. Cloud? I do lots of stretches, by the way. Well then, it should go without saying that you get what you pay for. All four fingers at once, quick and to the point. <sighs> Little rough. Hmm? They can stop at any time if it's too much to handle. <clears throat> What must that sound like from the outside? Try flexing the muscles. You'll feel the difference. Seriously, I could go for that. Am I right? Actually, yeah. Hmm. I should save up. How was it? <laughs> it's all right, I guess. What are you doing? Flexing. Oh shit, I can play as Aerith. Yay! Flexing. Think you'll make a habit of it? <sighs> All right then. I think I've seen everything I need to see. So, tell me what you want, and we'll take it from there. Sure you're okay? Yeah. You're one of the trio, right? I want to get into Corneo's next audition. And why in the world would you want to do that? Hmm... Okay. Really? But you cannot go dress like that. Huh? I could never send Corneo a candidate wearing such a plain-looking getup. Doing so would call my position as one of the trio into question. Is something wrong with my outfit? matter what I think? Well, I think it's pretty cool. It but is! You look amazing, honey. outside the parlor, would you? Sorry, we'll stop. So, 
What should I do about the outfit? <laughs> you just leave that to me. I'll put you in a dress so fabulous, you'll look like a million gil. So long as you can afford it. How much? What I said. But don't worry. It's obvious you can't afford a dress with that kind of price tag. So listen, I have an idea. Uh. There's an underground coliseum in this town. Up for a fight, Cloud? Good. Because I'm getting you into that arena. If you win the tournament, I'll transform Aerith into a drop dead. Well, game. now there's a Colosseum, you say. Prize money? <laughs> yes, for the person who got you in. So, what do you say? All right. That's what I like to hear. You'll need this. They're already letting fighters inside. You should hurry. Run along. That's a character. I like that. What have we gotten ourselves into? Nothing good. I wouldn't expect a fair fight in this town. Think we can win it all? That's one thing I'm definitely sure of. I appreciate the confidence. Just don't get too cocky, okay? Right then. Let's go kick some ass! That's the Colosseum, I see. You lost? This is for spectators only. Let's hit a save before we go any further. Bread and Circus, yes. Bread and Circus. Her name is Madam M. That's a good new character. Because again, <laughs> so one of the hashtag problematic aspects of Wall Market back in the day is that it sort of dealt with, oh yeah, Don Corneo is like a pimp and a sexual abuser and a piece of garbage ass hat who deserves all the pain that's coming to him. But it also never really challenged the whole objectification of women. Like it, it never, it never mounted a challenge against it. It was just a feature of the story, which, like at the time, was fine because it was a tiny little segment in a very, very long game. And so it's like, okay, you can't explore everything fully. Fine, whatever. You can kind of scoot over it. But now that everything in Midgar has been expanded so much, you kind of okay. If we're gonna do Wall Market, if we're gonna do the whole Honey Bee Inn, there's prostitutes, Don Corneo, blah blah. Let's actually start to explore some of the social dynamics here, and Madam M is a good version of that. What's this? You're here to compete? <laughs> I hope you know you're cutting it really close. So, the two of you are a team? Team? No, it's just me. Yes, the two of us are a team. I need to get into that audition, but I won't let anyone else fight my battles for me. That includes you, mister. All right, team it is. Head to the waiting area down below. Right then. <laughs> and the gorgeous facade falls away. Down, down, down we go. So, how deep does this thing go, you think? I wonder how many people are fighting. Hey, you're not nervous, are you? Nope. Really? You're even more quiet than usual. Just trying to focus, like you should. Hey, lovebirds, over here! Ooh! Oh shit, it's Scotch and Koch. Fucking hell.
Tonight's grand prize is no less than one million gil. And there's only one way to get it. Brutalize your opponents. Utterly and utterly. Viciously. Without mercy. Until they've had it locked. Only the most ruthless fighters. The savages still standing here at the end. Shall claim the gil and the glory. And now, the long awaited event in which the Bloodstar Beast will battle for your movement. And the bonus! Warriors of every shape and size will fight to the death before your very eyes. And tonight's Cornell Cup! So Scotch and Kutch are, uh... Corneo henchmen, this is really something. and they are very minor characters in the original game, and they don't seem to have been massively expanded. But there's a bit more of them here. You two, wait here until it's time. Fuck that, Johnny. Oh, you again. Ouch! What happened to your face? I just needed a little scratch, you know. So, I signed up for the preliminaries, and, well, I hope you guys realize what you're getting into. I don't want to scare you, but if you can make a run for it, you should. Cloud and Aaron, your match will begin shortly. Please make your way to the gate. We're in way too deep to back out now. Never been more scared in my entire life. Yeah. It's because you stumbled blindly into something you had no idea how to handle. With rampant overconfidence and nothing to have it in. You know, it would have been pretty easy for them to not... This is another part of the thing where, like, they are so extra about the design of this game. Because, like, when you go to the Coliseum, the easiest thing in the world would be you talk to the guy out front. Then it fades to black, you cut to characters inside the Coliseum doing the fighting, then fade to black and cut back out again. But again, they're being very extra, so they're building this infrastructure. Like, these backstage rooms and staff walking around and yeah like the, the scale of this game is impre is so impressive and i don't like looking at the scale of what they've shoved into final fantasy 7 remake i don't blame them for splitting it up into multiple games <laughs> cuz boy howdy they have gone the extra 15 miles here you two ready try not to get yourselves killed I'll try not to kill the rest of them. For our next batch, we welcome two fighters, a young couple no less. Talk about a bad day! Well, this is their first tournament, the bad first date, and most likely their last, inexperienced as they are. Or are they? Give it up for Cloud and Eric! Oh, I want to punch him. Okay, now I'm bad. Zero. one of Walmart gets own, a renowned master of beasts. Will his pets make a meal of our two challengers before our very eyes? They've already been given their appetizers. Their hunger for flesh and fear is unquenchable. The demon talks of hell. The sanguine stalker. Holy shit! That's not nice. There's no rule that says a dog can't play basketball. This could be over in an instant, so don't even blink. 
This guy looks like he only has close range attacks, so... Military canines trained by Shinra's Public Security Division. Genetic modification to bestow these animals with tentacles that can drain energy from them. Okay, so these are also dodging enemies. Right, I see. Well, hardly a challenge, is it? Let's try Infinity's End and see how it looks. Okay, that would work better better on an enemy that's standing still, I see. I see you. That's that. Can you believe it? I don't think anyone saw this coming. Hey, victory poses. Ah, that way. Finally got the victory pose down. I guess that's why they created the arena. They just wanted an excuse to do victory poses and victory well, music. Down. Go team. Mm. What's wrong? The rules don't make sense. Yeah, true. But maybe it'll be better in the next match? Nah, wouldn't bet on it. Better to expect the worst. <laughs> Flowers. Cloud and Aaron, your match will begin shortly. Let me just have a seat Please first. Make your way to the gate. Right, so that's an intro. It'll be tougher from here. But since it's part of the main story, I don't think they'll make it too tough. It's not like those side quests enemies that kicked my ass so hard. Well, that was some bullshit. Guess I better start looking for a new job. Guess I better start looking for a new job. Preferably one that doesn't involve the abuse of animals, you dickhead. That's what they call beginner's luck. But the next match won't be so easy. Ready to rock? Bring it on. Just remember, try not to die. For the second match in our spectacular semi-finals, fresh from their first date with death, I present the Lucky Couple! We're like unlucky for the rest of us! Give it up once again for Cloud and Eren! Couple of my ass! What the hell you two trying to pull? You assholes cost me a fortune! Yeah, yeah! Their opponents, the Reavers of this campground, thieves and killers through and through! Too criminal for common criminals, the worst of the worst! Ladies and gentlemen, check their pockets, because they may have already robbed you blind! The most contemptible sons of bitches this side of war market, Bex Benefits! <laughs> <laughs> those fucking idiots. So that's why they were set up. Yeah. <laughs> the odds are overwhelmingly stacked against this. this could be a real bloodbath. 
so I implore you, ladies and gentlemen, don't look away, or you may miss the best part. The second match of the Corneo Cup semifinals begins now. Fine. Okay, let's just do an assessment. Allow me. Lackeys, yeah. Mine. Well, that's not great. You. Stay strong and carry on. I keep my distance. Why am I taking damage all the time? Is it the ranged? Yeah, it's the ranged fighters. That's extremely annoying. Okay, so they're pretty much focusing Aerith right now, which I can work with. Man, I want to see Aerith's victory pose better. I don't remember how many exactly, but a lot. But somehow the winners of our match are... Once again, Cloud and Aerith! That kid's really something. Well, of course he is. I did give him a massage, you know. His palm told quite the tale. He's cheated death more than a few times. <laughs> so is half the people in this town. Anyway, we're both still alive. Call it. <sighs> there you go again. One of these days, your luck is going to run out. When I fall from grace, maybe I'll land in your parlor once more. <clears throat> that is one mistake I will never repeat. See? Character. You gotta admit, Andy, the way he moves is totally amazing! Andy! Hmm. 
Next up, the big finale. Yeah. I thought you'd be happier. Those Just jerks. Thinking about what we might face next. But you know, we've made it this far. I'm sure we can handle anything they throw at us. Yes, we can. Yeah, those two have a story, and that's what I mean. It's like... If you're gonna deal with it, you have to deal with it with characters. We'll begin shortly. Let's see. That's not gonna matter so much in an extended fight. He doesn't have cure, so he can't. Then I'd rather have him have fire or something. Lightning, maybe. Actually, bio. Poison. Don't know what I'm going to face, but I want to be able to hurt it. Better safe than sorry here, I think. Please make your way to the gate. Not bad. Does this mean I don't gossip like dead no more? Damn, you two are really something else. I could use that kind of muscle in my gang. Damn, you two are really something else. So hungry. All right. Man, you proved me wrong. You guys are pretty good. It's the final match. You good to go? Oh god, we've been going for 7 hours already? That was fast. I feel like I barely started. Riding on you two. Win it for me. Ladies and gentlemen, our time together is almost over. Tonight's thrilling tornado cup filled with unprecedented upsets and drama, has only one match to go! <laughs> we know. We're just as disappointed as you are. But ladies and gentlemen, all good things must come to an end. So let's celebrate by getting so damn loud, they'll hear us up on the play! Yeah! Come on! Once more. The sweethearts who surprise us with upset after spectacular upset. The power couple with the boundless love. No, I did save. The champions of Madame M, Cloud, and Eric! Yeah! Come on now! Come on! The 
can do better than that. And now, five-time winners of the Corneo Cup. Murder machines with cactus kills to their names. Along with a handful of maimings. The deadly duel that takes up the trash with a vengeance. The electric executioners, Chocobo Sam's champions. Cutty and Sleepy. Are they going to be robots? Oh, there we go. Aerith, at this point, you should be used to it. Walk away with a one million kill prize. Get ready for a fight guaranteed to go down in history. The final match of the Corneo Cup begins now. Right. Man, I wish I had Ramu. Oh, hell yeah. One at a time. Okay, I should assess them before I kill one of them. All right. Oh, Jesus. Aerith, little help? Yeah, Punisher mode just can't guard against ranged attacks at all. Got to scan him, god damn it. I got your note. a tough one by the way excellent camera work to keep a third out of the camera so that we never get to see him when you bet it all on a toss sometimes you get burned by lady luck every coin has two sides you're right of course even if they are both the same Later. And now, I believe I have a prize to collect. Sorry, the madam will have to wait. The Don's demanding that we tack on one more match, it seems. <laughs> what? If they win out, then you get paid in full. Now hold on just a goddamn minute. His call, not mine. <laughs> now that that's over, we can go save Tifa. So we'll head back to Madame M's, get you changed, and then it's off to Corneo's. Right. Well Sorry then. Sorry to be the bearer of bad news, but you still have one fight left. What do you mean? The crowd loved your show a little too much. People were placing hefty bets, much heftier than you can possibly imagine. Corneo's going to milk this for as much as he can. 
Meaning what? You face and defeat Corneo's fighter of choice, and only then will you be declared winners of the tournament. Hey, that wasn't the deal! Don't you think I know that?! <laughs> you greedy bastard! Scum-sucking piece of shit-festering asshole! I like her. But that's the way it is. Corneo's the one who makes the rules around here. But if you win this match, Corneo will have to accept your victory. And the crowd will make sure he does. So this is the last one? <laughs> I sure hope so. Go on now. That prize money is going to pay for your dress. Oh, I'm getting those Mega Potions. Thank you. Running out of gill now, though. More like 3D graphics detected, William Returner. Long time, but this has never happened before. It's gonna be one hell of a match. Well, at least they're appreciating our victories. Time to shave the game. Madam M is good. I like her. Watching you guys fight gave me goosebumps. Hope your next match is even better than the last. Ready to kick ass? <sighs> it's not even about the money anymore, man. I just want you guys to win it all. We will. Show them what you got. Tonight's Corneo Cup has been a spectacle like no other. And we shared your disappointment, ladies and gentlemen, when we told you that it was coming to an end. But nobody felt it more keenly than one time Corneo, who has decided that a bonus match is ew, 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 ew. I hate that guy. Participating in this match will be this evening's leading lights, the dynamic duo that has crushed I wonder what Elmira would say if she found out that I had entered Aerith into an underground blood sport competition. Fuck off. Wait, Apsu? No, can't be. The secret star of Don Corneo's stellar stable. Enter. <laughs> oh fuck yes. The Hell House. I have been waiting for this. It's the best enemy in Midgar. <laughs> they did it. They fucking brought it over. Hell to the yes. It's just a house. It's no ordinary house. <laughs> they managed to put the hell house in the game. That's I makes that makes me so happy. Yeah, figured. This is a normal enemy that you encounter in the base game, in the original game. 
A monster in the form of a house. No one knows how it was built. When it shifts barriers, hit it with the opposing elements. It's eyes to fire, lightning to wind to rapidly fill its stagger gauge. When God House Mode is activate, active, attacks will be less effective at filling the gauge, but for a short time after this mode's et mode ends, it will be much easier. Stagger. Weak to ice currently, okay? Okay, lightning, which means wind, which means cloud, actually, is a... Uh... Go on, you can do it! Well, that's annoying. It shoots chairs! That's brilliant. So, I need non-elemental damage for this. If we're having a comedy boss battle... I'm bringing the chunk to the fight! Now it's ice. One more shot. Go on. Shit, no. Now it's wind, which means lightning. They have commentary for the summons, yeah. <laughs> Here comes the fun part. I know what's about to happen. I'm reasonably sure. And gentlemen, yes! What the? Say hello to the Hell House's true form. They have commentary for the limit breaks too! Ha! <laughs> That's amazing! Okay, no weaknesses right now. Maximum over chunk. Jittery? 
Uh oh. Okay, now it's Wind Elemental. Ah, she's just gonna fall down again. Yeah, no shit. Thanks for the warning. Okay, I need to find a way to deal with. Soul drain it. It's gonna move again. Yeah. Who knows where this map is headed? Can you take over for me? Damn it! Okay, this is an amazing fight, by the way. I'm having so much fun.
please dodge, Cloud. Please dodge, please dodge, please dodge. Oh, for fuck's sake! The man eating monstrosity! The horror! The hell house! For fuck's sake. <laughs> the brave and beautiful Cloud in hell. Shut the fuck up, I'll take it on. It charged right through both Cloud and Aerith at the same time. Like, I tried to... I tried to make it so that... It was charging at Aerith, so I was trying to get the fuck away from Cloud so that he wouldn't get hit, but... Ugh, that's annoying. It's fun. I'm having a lot of fun. Again, like as Watch as I mentioned before, it's not even a show them what you got. As I've mentioned before, what I like is that the combat system does test me. Like it does force me to play. Unlike in the original game where you can often kind of autopilot your way through most of the fights. That was better. <laughs> it's almost disappointing. No. Nah, can't skip that. Okay. Not yet. <sighs> Would you call this property damage or what? Yeah. <laughs> that was a quick phase two. Chunky boy! Okay, time to heal. You're 
Damn it. Okay, I really need a fucking way to deal with that. Yeah, triple slash doesn't work. I wish I could target the arms when it's not... Okay, here comes the rocket charge. Let's see if I can stop it with Blizzard. Nope. I don't think there's any way to dodge that. But it doesn't do that much damage to him, so... Until that last hit. Okay. Now what? <laughs> Heaven! 
Heaven Sword! Ha! Left off! We have left off! Ladies and gentlemen, are you seeing this? The world's first flying out! Okay. Bet I am. Deal with that. I'll show you what I can do. can't do any goddamn damage to that left arm. Oh, the rocket charge. Over here, over here. Don't over 
do it. I'm coming. Got houses, planets, wings, and taken flight. Never get so doesn't fall. I'll save that limit. I really, I'm just not in the position where I can do any goddamn damage to it. I have these tiny little windows where, like, very briefly becomes elemental something. Really wish I had barrier. That was mother frickin' intense. Well, that was a bit of a thing. Hellhouse living up to its name. I'm really glad they got the Hellhouse in there. I'm really glad the Hellhouse is here. Because that's, that's one of the most out of the blue, ridiculous character designs for an enemy in the entirety of Final Fantasy VII. And it can only be encountered in one area in Midgar in the entire game. And I'm so glad it's here. I'm so glad. Anyway, if you're watching this on VOD after the stream, then this will be where this particular episode of the VOD ends, and you'll have to come back for the next one, which will be up on the channel fairly soon, I can promise you. If you're on stream, though, oh, we're going to keep going. We're going to see what the hell is after this nonsense, because <laughs> I'm having too much fun to stop now.